Being the center of attention is a dream for most of us in the world. Endless recognition, affection, gifts, and love from different people. However, the downfall of this image is the pressure on yourself to maintain that image the world sees, making you exert tons of effort and sacrifices. Embrace yourself and your unique beauty. Trust me, you don't need that earthly validation from anybody. I know this is an aquatic-related channel, but it wouldn't hurt if I give you a friendly reminder, because we also care for a fish keeper just like you. Now going back, since I've already mentioned things about unique beauty, in the aquatic world tons of fish didn't have to make an effort to catch the attention of anyone. Yep, that's right, they were called the centerpiece fish. But what exactly are they? What makes them stand out? All that will be answered at Aquarium Store Depot because today, we'll highlight the 21 centerpiece fish for any tank size you choose. So stay till the end because we'll fill your screen with all these beautiful creatures. The centerpiece fish are striking species that get along well with their tank companions. They're typically the main attraction of the tank since they stand out from other species by being bigger, brighter, or even odd. Additionally, centerpiece fish are for more than just community tanks. Numerous aquarists favor keeping one significant species in its tank, exemplifying the true meaning of a center of attraction. To further prove to you that there are aquatic species that are indeed worthy of being the star of your aquarium, let's now dive into the list of 21 best centerpiece fish with every statistic you need to know about them. Our first category of centerpiece fish suit a nano tank of about 5 to 20 gallons. Let's start with the betta. The betta fish is the perfect species to use in a nano aquarium if you want something colorful. No other centerpiece fish is available in such a stunning array of colors, scale varieties, and fin shapes. This vibrant Siamese fighting fish is the best option for aquariums smaller than 10 gallons. It would help if you gave your betta a tank at that size. This does not preclude you from establishing a massive betta fish tank filled with numerous other peaceful fish. This well-known labyrinth fish works really well in a tropical community tank as a centerpiece fish. Second in this category is the Epistogramma dwarf cichlid. Epistogrammas are South American dwarf cichlids with vibrant coloring and engaging personalities. Numerous species are available, including the well-known Epistogramma agassizi and Epistogramma cacatoides. In a 15-gallon aquarium or more, you may keep a group of neon tetras or other schooling fish with these species, or save a breeding pair of Epistogrammas alone in a 10-gallon aquarium. Going third is the Bolivian Ram. Another excellent selection for a smaller tank is Bolivian Rams. These dwarf cichlids like to stay at the aquarium's bottom, brightening up the community tank with their vibrant antics. Although cichlids are known for their aggression, this peaceful kind of fish will get along well with other peaceful schooling fish. This is one of the best community fish available in this size range. The beauty of dwarf Gorami will never be left behind on this list. One of my favorite aquarium centerpiece fish for tiny aquariums is the dwarf Gorami. The gorgeous powder blue Gorami and the vivid orange flame Gorami are only two of the many color variations that this species can be found in. Although dwarf Goramis are not the best tank mates for shy fish in the same aquarium because they might get a little aggressive during feeding times, these popular aquarium fish are great for a community tank in general. The oddly mesmerizing color pattern of our fifth fish, called Crevensis, is what makes it reach this list. Another species of dwarf cichlid, the Crevensis, is found in the tropical rivers of West Africa. Beautiful red, yellow, and orange hues are combined with striking black spots and stripes in Crevensis cichlids. These vibrant fish can be housed with a wide range of community fish because they don't require complex, alkaline water like East African cichlids. Although this species usually behaves peacefully, they can turn hostile during mating season, primarily if maintained in a small community tank. Instead of putting them in a conventional 20-gallon tank to allow them ample room to defend territory, consider housing them in a 20-gallon long tank to curb aggression. Next is the Honey Gorami. 
The less aggressive and smaller cousin of the dwarf gourami is the honey gourami. Even though they're not as colorful, these fish stand out thanks to their intriguing body shape and peculiar pelvic fins resembling arms. They're exceptionally bright during the breeding season, and because they get along well with bottom dwellers like quarry cats and smaller schooling fish like neon tetras, honey gourami make the perfect centerpiece fish for a nano community tank. The shimmering beauty of splendid killifish made it to our top centerpiece species. Although females have more subdued coloring, the male splendid killifish certainly lives up to its name with vibrant colors and elegant fins. For fish keepers looking for something a little more uncommon and rare for their aquarium, these West African micro fish are fantastic. In order to imitate their natural surroundings and keep them content and confident, place these little fish in a well-planted tank with lots of floating plants and low-powered aquarium lighting. Another centerpiece on the list is the German Blue Ram. The German Blue Ram is a tropical fish from South America, not Germany. For experienced fish keepers searching for a beautiful centerpiece fish in a small to medium-sized aquarium, this neon-colored dwarf cichlid is an excellent option. Be aware that German Blue Ram fish require somewhat warm water, ruling out some of the more popular community tank companions. As they're more delicate than many of the species on this list, they're also regarded as more difficult fish to care for. And finally, for the finale of this category, let's get to know the Scarlet Bodies. One of the tiniest fish in the aquarium hobby is the Scarlet Bodies, a true nano species. These small fish might be kept in a five gallon tank, but larger aquariums make it much simpler to maintain excellent water quality. Because they love live food like Daphnia and microworms, these creatures might be challenging to care for, even more so if housed alongside other nano fish like Heavenly Pearl Danios or Chili Rasboras. These cute fish can create an attractive centerpiece for a well planted nano tank if you're prepared to do the work. Before we get on with our next category of centerpiece fish, let's give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for a daily dose of your aquatic info needs. Now for the medium tank size category, which goes from 29 to 55 gallons. Let's start with the freshwater angelfish. One of the most well-liked aquarium fish in the hobby is the freshwater angelfish, which has earned that title. Because of their striking colors and distinctive and dramatic body shapes, these South American cichlids make the ideal centerpiece fish. Angelfish can be housed with smaller fish like black skirt tetras and a few small algae eating fish like Odysinclus catfish because despite their fantastic size, they have relatively small mouths. When selecting other tank mates, remember to get fish that aren't nano size and in larger schools if they're schooling fish. Second in this category is the pearl gourami. The pearl gourami is one of the most underappreciated centerpiece fish for medium sized fish tanks. Both sexes share magnificent pearl spotted patterns, albeit males are more vivid than females. The cardinal tetra and a group of fancy guppies, such as cobra guppies, get along well with pearl gourami because they're a peaceful fish that can tolerate a wide pH range. Sajika cichlid might sound new to you, but its beauty will encourage you to give it a try for your tank. The Sajika or T-Bar cichlid from Central America is a fantastic showpiece for a medium-sized aquarium. The males in particular have full flowing fins. These river dwellers have a hefty rounded body form. They may become a little aggressive, like many other cichlids when reproducing. You can keep a pair of these fascinating fish in separate tanks or save a single male in a larger tank with a school of fish, such as larger tetras and some bottom dwellers like Corydoras catfish. Next is the red Iranian rainbow fish. One of the fish that attracts attention is the red Iranian rainbow fish. From their head to their tail, these schooling fish with a humpback have silvery scales strewn across their rich scarlet red bodies. Red Iranian rainbow fish typically stay in your aquarium's middle and top portions and get along with other calm neighborhood fish. You'll need a school of at least six to view these energetic fish at their most self-assured. Hemichromis exul will serve as the fifth fish for this category. East African cichlid with some of the most stunning colors in the hobby is the semi-aggressive Turkana gem cichlid. With their deep red color and neon blue markings, these little cichlids will add color to any aquarium. As far as jewel cichlids go, they're relatively calm, but you'll still need to pick their tank mates wisely because they may be pretty aggressive while breeding. We are now at the significant showstoppers to finally continue with our list. 
Here, tanks must be at least four feet long because we're now talking about centerpiece species suitable for the 60 gallon and above aquarium size. Let's start this category with the first species called electric blue acara. A great centerpiece fish for amateurs with larger tanks is the electric blue acara. This brilliant blue South American cichlid is the perfect species to choose if you want to spark conversation. When designing your fish tank's layout, remember that these fish are diggers. Live plants can still be used. However, only epiphytes anchored to solid driftwood or rockwork such as Anubias and Java moss are advised. Second are the discus fish. In the hobby of keeping aquariums, the discus fish is the centerpiece showstopper. These cichlids resemble dinner plates and have some of the most gorgeous hues in the entire freshwater hobby. Beginners should be advised though. They have a limited range of tank mates since they have high water quality requirements and prefer warmer water than most species. If you're not familiar with the Geophagus sveni, it's time that I show you its beauty. An earth-eating cichlid from Brazil's tropical waters is called Geophagus sveni. These fish are incredibly colorful and have colossal heads and eyes typical of creatures that consume dirt. Geophagus is only ideal for aquariums with deep, fine sand because they sift through the substrate to get their food. Because of this tendency, they're a bad choice for aquascapes, but ideal for fish keepers who want big, beautiful centerpiece fish. Severum cichlid are another centerpiece you should try. Large, round-bodied Severum cichlids from South America have a discus-like appearance with a calm disposition, but the hardiness of a typical cichlid. Today, they come in various vibrant color morphs, such as the red tiger and golden severum. In addition to their natural form, olive green with dark vertical bars. A variety of calm community fish can be housed alongside severums in a freshwater aquarium. Gorami, angelfish, and plecos are a few well-liked choices. Make sure the fish you plan to keep them with are not small, so they can't fit inside its mouth. Fifth on the list is the rainbow shark. The sleek rainbow shark is an Asian species with vivid red fins and a dark body. Even while the colors of the wild type fish are striking enough, these fish are also offered in unique albino varieties and even glowfish hues like cosmic blue and galactic purple. When housed with the appropriate companions, these energetic fish may make a great impression as the focal point for larger aquariums. It's safest to keep only one and steer clear of any similar tank mates because although they're not actually sharks, they can be aggressive. The unbelievable striking feature of the black ghost knife fish will stab your heart with flattering emotion. The black ghost knife fish can be an intriguing alternative if you seek a genuine unusual fish. They are huge nocturnal fish with odd knife-shaped bodies, and it's highly fascinating to watch how their fins move as they swim around their aquarium. These unusual fish are most active at night and use electrical signals to navigate their environment. The most excellent tank mates for these guys are bigger, faster fish that are fairly peaceful, because even though they may not be the quickest fish in the tank, they are predators and get quite large. Geophagus altifrons is the seventh fish for this category. Geophagus altifrons could be ideal for a large aquarium's focal point if you're seeking something calm. This South American cichlid sticks out with stunning, blazing colors and protruding fins that resemble long tassels. Apart from its attractive appearance, this cichlid's diet is one of its best qualities. They're safe to keep in the same tank with smaller fish since they feed by filtering the substrate. These fish do best when held in schools of at least six others. And finally, the last species on our entire list. You could never go wrong in having fancy goldfish. Although keeping them in a peaceful, cool water community tank is feasible, these elegant goldfish make ideal centerpiece pets for a species-only aquarium. Small, cold-tolerant species like zebra danios and white cloud mountain minnows, as well as larger fish like dojo loaches and algae-eating bristlenose plecos make good tank mates. You might question why goldfish are included alongside giant species like severums and ghost knife fish. Yet many people are shocked to hear that goldfish can grow up to 8 inches long. While a single goldfish can be kept in a 30 gallon aquarium, you'll need a 75 gallon aquarium or larger to keep a trio. Now you have a showpiece fish for any tank size, my fellow fish keepers. Researching any species before adding it to your tank is worth a little additional time because purchasing new fish is a long-term commitment. 
If this video helped you out, please give us a thumbs up. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can watch tons of fish keeping information that will surely help you succeed in this hobby. I'll see you again, fish keepers. Thanks for watching.